having a men's group meeting tonight. Guys like tea. Yeah, you enjoy that one. You got some hamburgers for me? Sure. We're gonna have a little special night at my house tonight, and we're gonna grill out and have some man food. I find life to be much more fulfilling when I'm surrounded by the right people to help me have the right kind of life. Hey, Rocco. Hey, Dad. How you doing? Good. So we are going to have a feast tonight. I've been a part of the group since we started it, uh, about a year and a half ago, I believe. Um, I was gone for about nine months uh, when I had to take a college class, but I'm back now, and I couldn't be happier. All right, give me a hug, brother. Oh, yeah. We all come from different backgrounds, but yet we all mesh together. We just like we've all become it's more than just a friendship, we're like a brotherhood. Can what fears keep you claiming from claiming freedom with boldness? And I think uh Tony did that in our group. He really he really stood out and really stood up for what he believed in. While in that group, I was diagnosed with stage four colon cancer. I turned on my phone and the men in that group had videotaped a message and sent it to me. And I just began to cry. My wife's like, what's wrong? And I said, nothing's wrong. God's got this. Um, my men sent me a message and, and, and we're gonna be okay. I'm gonna be okay. Thank you for this, uh, the, the friendship, the camaraderie, the, the love that we have for one another, where we can come and just- I get to make a big church small. I get to help people find and fit in, and I get to help not only fit into church on Sunday, but I get to help men bring church out into their weekday. I am gonna be surrounded by some godly men, and that I can face whatever Monday's got because we've got each other at the end of the day.